guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to cook for you a quick vegetarian meal. Um, and it's really because persons have been asking, how do I prepare meals when I'm on a Daniel fast? I have a lot of requests, people basically asking me, are you preparing meals for us? Are you willing to prepare meals for us? Show us what to do. How can we know what we can eat? Guys, I don't have all the answers, but I want to share what I do. So today I'm going to make a quick meal for you. I have, have already put on my pot. I'm going to make some boiled food today. And also with the boiled food, I'm going to make a vegetable stew. And in my vegetable stew, I have carrots, I have pumpkins, I have Brussels sprouts, and of course my okra. I don't leave out my okra. I love okra bad bad. And my family loves okra. This breeze is coming through the, the window. Anyway, but I'm also gonna add to my stew garden egg, or people call it eggplant. It is rich in antioxidants, yes. It's good for you because it you see how purple it is? Just like how rich it is in color, it's rich for it's rich in nutrition. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my to my stew. What I'm doing with my pot now, I already have my pot boiling and I have boil plantings that I put in that I'm boiling. I've also, I'm also gonna add some yam and I'm gonna add some bananas. I've already added my sweet potato because you know, once you cut the sweet potato and peel it, it starts to discolor. So I've already added that. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you quickly what I do to just pep up my meal very quickly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my bananas with the skin. I like to do my bananas with the skin on. So I just cut the tops off, cut the bottoms off and do a very light slice, very, very light slice. And then I drop that in my pot. And then when it's cooked, I just remove the skin and serve. Always add a little oil to your pot, just a little, because on the fast you're not supposed to have too much oil. So you're gonna add a little bit of oil to your pot so that your bananas don't get too dark in color, okay? So stand by. This is my pot here. I've already added my plantains, my banana, my sweet potatoes have sunk into the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover that so that it can steam. Okay guys, for my stew, of course, I like to put seasoning in it just the same because you don't want to just cook up your vegetables, just stir fry your vegetables, and you don't really have any flavor to it. So I can't use a lot of oil, so I'm gonna use a little bit of oil and just steam, um, stir fry, sorry, stir fry my vegetables. So I'm gonna use a little bit of pepper. I've already have, I already prepared my onion. I'm gonna use a small tomato and I'm just gonna slice it up. Just do it in fours and cut it up because I'm gonna saute this first so I get the flavor of my seasoning in my pot before I add my vegetables. I'm also gonna do half of a half of an onion because I don't want too much. And then I'm just gonna then I'm gonna slice it from the hair so that it gets sliced up in small bits. Right. There we go. You can discard that top part. I don't want that part. And then I'm going to use this, as I said, saute it up in my oil. Just a little, remember, on your Daniel fast, you don't want to use too much oil, but you can use a little bit of olive oil. Nothing's wrong with using a little, but don't use too much butter and too much of the deep frying. Okay, this is my garlic. All right, you can just, just mash it so that the skin comes off really quickly. And then I can just mince it up a little. I love cooking with garlic. Another clove, I'm gonna add about two cloves. You just mash it like that and the skin, the shell comes right off really easily. Alright, and then I just dice that up. Let me 
que echar picarna a persons who trouble with a little bit of hypertension the garlic is good garlic is also almost like an antibiotic it's very good it's an anti-inflammatory works very very well all right I am ready to stir fry and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it okay guys my plantains are ready. I can remove them from my pot while my bananas continue to cook. You don't need to overdo the plantains because they cook very quickly. I have put them in before so I can show you exactly how I do it and not keep you too long. So they were in from before I put the bananas in. Right, the rest of food can continue to cook with the bananas because they're not yet ready. And now I am ready for my stir fry. So I'm gonna go ahead and add to my pot. My pot is already heated, so I'm gonna add my onions, my tomato, my garlic, and my soft bonnet pepper, as well as my scallion. So that can start to saute and get the flavor extracted. do when you're stir frying always add the foods that are hardest to cook first and then you add the easier ones so what I'm gonna go with of course are my carrots and I'm gonna go with my okra because the Brussels sprouts they cook really quickly So I'm going to add my okra and my carrots. So I'm separating my carrots here. Oh gosh, guys, if you ever smell it already and just enter the pot. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. I'm getting a bit excited this vegetarian. <laughs> I, I look at it as vegetarian. It's not really vegetarian, guys. It's just a sacrifice that you make when you're on a Daniel fast. You cut back on the meat, the dairy, the oils, the fats. All those things that you normally have, you cut back on those because your aim is to have less and make that sacrifice so that you can see your father. So he can tell you what he wants you to do. All right, so here I am. I'm cooking up my okra and my carrots. That is going to simmer for a little. You can always add a little water if you want after but what i'm doing first is to get the flavor out of the vegetables before i add the water i'm going to add some water of course and let it simmer down a little bit more but i want to get the flavor out of the okra and the carrots first so i am just dry frying it first in my seasoning which is my onion my contra pepper or scotchy my scallion a little tomato and of course my garlic guys if you ever smell this oh my god and this is really just for my family and also to, with the aim of showing you what you can do when you're on a Daniel fast because people genuinely don't know they're just not sure and they always want to have an idea here's my eggplant I've cut it up as small as this because I want it to the flavor to be incorporated I don't want that in it I want my flavor to just come out so you have a full stew 
and then I'm gonna put the food with it. So while this is stirring up, let that stir up a little bit more, and then I will show you what I do after. That is stirring up, let that stir up a little bit more. You're gonna add the Brussels sprouts and the eggplant last because it doesn't take long to cook. So don't, so you don't want to overdo it. So you go ahead and you let your food simmer for a little and I'll be right back and show you how I do the rest. Okay guys, to show you, to continue, what you want out of your vegetables, you want your vegetables to still be nice and crunchy. So you don't want it to be too soft. Okay, that can still cook up a little bit more. And then what you can do now is add your pumpkin. A pumpkin also takes a little bit, a little while to cook. You can go ahead and add your pumpkin. And stir that in. You see the color? color is coming alive more and more and then when you add your eggplant now you're going to have that purple color on the skin wow it's going to be really nice so guys these are the seasonings i like to add to my pot when you are accustomed to that meat flavor, you don't want to have something that's really, really bland because you're not going to feel satiated. You're not going to feel as if your appetite was really filled. So what I like to do, I like to put my seasonings in. So I'm going to put a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a little, to kind of pep up the flavor of my food. I'm going to put a little paprika. The cayenne pepper is very hot, so I don't put a lot of it. I'm going to put some parsley, of course. Complete, I love cooking with complete. It gives a complete taste, let me tell you. And of course, I don't leave out my adobo. I use my adobo mostly for seafood, but adobo is also nice when you put it on vegetables. It brings the flavor to the front. So my pot is coming together now nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggplant. Sorry, but guess what? It just don't have enough meat in it. <laughs> but it's still gonna be as good. But sometimes boy, the meat really heavy for your body, but um, you know, don't worry about it guys. We are really let's focus on showing you how to make a meal for the Daniel fast. Yes, that's what I'm doing. So let's focus on that. And we're not trying to hit out on anybody that eat meat. Nope. We're not doing that. Because we are meat eaters ourselves. So what I'm going to do now, after I've added that, I'm going to go ahead now and add my Brussels sprouts. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more adobo over it. Okay. And then I'm going to stir that in. I'm getting myself ready now to add a tip, just a tip of water because you don't want to overdo it and add too much water and draw the little vegetables because it's not soft vegetable you're making you want your vegetables nice and firm just the same right so allow that to go on steaming through okay while these vegetables are cooking up if you don't mind the choice is yours I have displayed here several things. Of course, you must add a little bit of salt because you don't want your vegetables to have a bland taste. So you add your salt 
and just stir that around. And what you can do, if you choose, you can add a little bit of garlic spread. It's, it's not dairy, it's gluten free. And you can add it if you want to spice up your taste a little bit, your flavor of your vegetables a little. And you want a little bit more of a garlic taste, you can add a little bit of that. And remember I mentioned about adding the water. If you don't want to add plain water, you can add a little bit of coconut milk. Because coconut milk also is made from coconuts, it's not dairy. And you can add it to your vegetables just to spice up the flavor so that you don't have it too bland tasting. So right at this point now, while the vegetables are cooking down, you can go ahead and add your little coconut milk. Not more than probably like a, a half cup. And you just let your vegetables simmer in the coconut milk itself. And then when you're ready, you just serve it. You're gonna get ready to serve. You can serve it on a bed of lettuce. You can serve it with your bananas, your plantain, your yam, your sweet potato. It's up to you what you like. And it's up to you how heavy you eat. Some persons will have this by itself while others will choose to add the other starches. But once your starches are not processed, they are from the ground, then no problem in having it because it's coming straight from the ground. It's plant-based. So you can always have your plant-based um, starches, which, yeah, which pretty much the starches from the ground are all natural. So you can have your plantains because some people believe you can't have plantains. You can, just don't fry them because they're sweet. But you can still have it because it's natural. It's a natural produce from the ground. Okay, so let that simmer for about five minutes and then you are free to turn it off. Is your juice dessert? You guys, my veg is finished. I'm about to serve. So sit back and enjoy this. It's going to be beautiful. Guys, the taste, I've already tasted one of my okras out of my meal oh my god guys jeez i'm mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. and it's still crunchy mm. and then you get this coconut flavor from the coconut milk mm -mm -mm. really good and guys here you are my meal is ready i have two different plates so you choose which one you want i know which one i want I want this one with the lettuce. I love lettuce. I love greens. So guys, thank you for watching. And here it is, my stir-fried veg. I have in there Brussels sprouts, carrots, pumpkin, okra, eggplant, and of course my boiled food, ground provision. I have ripe potato, um, plantains, sorry. I have sweet potatoes. I have yams, banana. Guys, it's gonna be a tasty meal. Really, really tasty. Because guess what too, I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to tell you how it tastes. This one has lettuce, that's the difference. And as I said before, this is mine. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time and I'll show you some more things. Later guys. Here we go guys.